Hello everyone, Yav is here. Here you can see the new version of the Tiny Timer. And now you've seen how I can operate it for five seconds. But let me show you another interesting thing. Uh, how do I program it? I mean, uh, there is no interface at all, right? No buttons, nothing. So first, this timer is a touch sensor so i can touch it and it wakes up you can see and it recognizes my touches like this you can see that it lights up after three quick touches it will enter to the programming menu now we can see the blue led fade in and out and then i'll take the Android app that I have here from the Google Play Store. I zoom a bit out so you can see the whole phone. And for example, I want eight minutes and 40 seconds just for the demonstration. Okay. When I touch this big button here, it will make flashes. Look. And this is how I program it. I put the uh, flashlight LED here, very close to the blue LED, and then I touch the button. And after that, the timer, if it recognizes it uh, correct, it should blink the time. Red, eight blinks, and four blue blinks for 40 seconds. Okay, so let's see it in action. Let's zoom in. I'll put the LED of the phone very close to the LED of the timer and touch it. Okay, it's not in the right angle. I should put it, aim it a little bit like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minutes. One, two, three, four, 40 seconds. And the end is the uh, violet purple to mark the end. So now the timer is set to 8 minutes and 40 seconds. And if I want it uh, to program it back to uh, 0 seconds or 5 seconds because the timer adds 5 seconds for any time that you ask, then I'll set it back to 0. And I'll enter back to the programming menu. Oh, the timer went to sleep because I didn't touch it for uh, one minute. So let's wake it up first. Now it's awake. One, two, three. And we're in. Let's put it closed like that. Only purple, that means zero minutes, zero seconds. And now we are back. So you don't have to use the application to program it. This is one way, the more convenient way. Uh, the other way is using touches only without any app. But before I show you that, many people ask me what happens at the field, at the sun? How can we work with the sun? So I've tested it as well. Uh, the shadow of the phone, smartphone, over the timer is good enough to block the sunlight and it works also like that. So how, how do I program it using only touches? If you're familiar with my previous version of the timer, it works exactly the same, but I'll show it here for anyone who don't know it. So wake it up. Okay, it's awake. You can see the blue blinks. One, two, three. We are back again to the programming menu, but instead of using the app, I'll touch for a long time until it blinks to enter the programming sequence. So hold it until it blinks. Now it blinks fast. That means when I leave it, we are entering to the minutes that we should uh, choose the minutes. Now the red marking for the minutes. Uh, if I want, for example, two minutes, I will touch twice, one, and it blinks to uh, to say that it recognized that, two, 
and now we have two minutes now long press to continue to the seconds and the intervals are 10 seconds so each touch is uh, 10 seconds so if you want 30 seconds we will touch three times one it didn't recognize try again one two three and now we have two minutes and 30 seconds and to save that we should long press again and we are back to standby mode and the timer is set for two minutes and 30 seconds and so that's all the programming menu and if we want to start the flight all we need to do is while we are in standby mode hold it for long time until it blinks and after I release it to start blink alternating between red and blue that means that it starts counting to zero from two minutes and 30 seconds and after the time it will start the burner the burner is here uh, is pr it's protected by the PCB itself so you can uh, insert the rubber band and you can pull it as, as strong as you want it will not break the rubber the the burner wire because it's supported by the PCB so you should not make a, put it like in a light tension you should put it with a strong tension it's better for the rubber to be reliably uh, burned okay um, what else uh, as you can see the timer here is quite uh, big because of the plugs here but uh, the timer itself is ready to fly not in this configuration but like here as you can see here the battery there is no plug we don't need any plug the battery is soldered directly to the timer here is a 3d printed mount that you can glue using a CA glue directly to the model there is a screw here that uh, fix the PCB to uh, the, the mounting plate and the screw also gets into the wood of the model and let's see weight how much it weighs first let's start with and uh, make a timer like this without anything it weighs fifth almost a quarter of a gram but when you add all the battery wires and stuff we are getting to about almost one gram ready to fly all you need to do is glue it like this to the model and you're ready to go and put the rubber band of course and well if there is no plug you can not unplug the battery how do we charge it so here I have this USB uh, charger for lipo battery which I modified I added these two pins and also I made it uh, to charge with a low cur current to fit this battery because if you buy this from AliExpress they are rated for one amp one ampere so it will not charge properly the battery and also it may damage it uh, for the long term so this modified charger will do the job as expected and as you can see we have two little holes here marks with plus and minus the plus should be connected to the red and the minus to the black and uh, can use any uh, wall uh, adapter like that or I can even use my phone itself as a source of uh, power for this if I have this converter from USB-C to type A then I can use this cable this black cable to connect it like to plug it here and I can do it in the field well we we don't have to because the battery itself uh, can last for at least 50 flights but if you want to be on the safe side and you're more comfortable with that you can do that so let's see now it's blue with 
red blinks while it's not connected to anything. Uh, when I plug it like this, we need to check the polarity, of course, that it is correct. That's all. I'll focus. You can see the red LED is on, which means it's charging the battery. When it's done, it will be changed from red to blue without any blinks of the red. So that's how you charge the timer. You don't need to unscrew it out. You don't need to unplug anything. Just when it's on the model, you, should, you can use that. Simple, that's all. Um, okay, what else? Um, the battery can last without charging about one year uh, on the timer. You don't need an on-off switch here. The timer shut it off completely, but it still tries to recognize your finger. This is the only thing that draws uh, power consumption from the battery. So if you want to store it for a long time, make sure that every six months you, you charge it again or even uh, longer than that. And um, about reliability, many people ask me, is this a burn, Ben Burner timer reliable? So first I say yes, because I worked really hard to make it uh, reliable. And the timer can detect uh, the voltage of the battery. So uh, it can prevent you from flying in case uh, the voltage is very low. We have here, for example, this a power supply. So if I plug it in, you can see how it acts. Now the voltage is 3.8, 3.7, which is it's high enough uh, for the timer. But if I uh, lower it a little bit, you can see the timer start blinks with, uh, I lower it too much, here. This is the um, low zone, low, it's not critical voltage zone. It's low enough to warn you, so it start to blink. And when the battery start to drain, after a long time, it will blink like that to warn you that uh, the voltage is low and it will not react to your finger. So you cannot fly, you cannot use it. And if the voltage continue to drop, which will because of the LED blinking, it will stop blinking completely to save battery, to prevent from the battery from draining completely, and it will not respond to the finger as well. So that's how it uh, protects the battery from, uh, from draining, also warns you. After you uh, charge it up, you can use it again, of course. And in addition for that, the timer can detect a uh, failure of the burner. This can happen if you use a very old battery, for example. Uh, so when you try to burn the timer, in, in if you have a malfunction battery or very old battery, it may fail to work and then it can operate in safe mode. This is a different mode which uh, uses less power to prevent the battery from uh, uh, from getting very low voltage and it overcomes the issue. So it tries again in that case. But usually with a new battery, uh, simple 30 milliamps like this, it should should work for for a few years with no problem. Um, so I think that's all for now as you can see this timer is very light very aerodynamic simple to install simple to use i hope you like it and you can contact me to ask me anything you'd like about this timer bye for now